Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is Rogue Just Streamed. Tamara just streamed, but Tamara dyed her hair like Rogue today because does anything even matter anymore at all? Okay, so I definitely need to bleach it again. No, it doesn't. So, Rogue just streamed Shrek 2! I watched Shrek 1 last week for the first time in like 10 years and almost every comment was like, Shrek 2's better. So I wanted to revisit Shrek 2 because I remember Shrek 1 almost verbatim. I almost can quote the entire movie the entire time through. No, not the buttons, not my gumdrop buttons. But Shrek 2, not so much. I think it was just past the point where I really got into it for some reason. And watching it through today, really, I mean, it jogged all those memories. Like I was like, oh yeah, of course I've seen this and I loved it. I, I laughed more in this one than I did in the first. <laughs> I hate to say it because I know like everyone's gonna disagree with me. I still kind of like Shrek 1 a little bit more and I know that's just because I have so much nostalgia for Shrek 1 where this one I didn't remember as much as I thought that I would have and I think it's a better movie. I think it's definitely funnier. I laughed way more than I did while watching the first. And I think that this one has like a legitimate villain where the first one, Lord Farquaad, isn't really a legitimate villain. Like he's kind of like a bump in the road, but it's not anything we have to deal with. Like the dragon, the evil dragon he has to slay. Like the dragon falls in love with the donkey. Like it's not, it's like, it's way different where now we have Prince Charming and now we have the fairy godmother and she's so cool and she's such a good villain. And we get introduced to so many new characters. Puss in Boots can do no wrong. I love Puss in Boots so much because my cat is orange and I want to put him in a boot. It's really interesting to see Shrek as a handsome human because in the first we got Fiona as a beautiful woman and it's really cool to see him on the other side of that and to see him kind of reveling in being admired or just like not being shied away from which is really great. Also hot Shrek can get it. I'll be the first to say it. Hot Shrek can get it. Rogue. 2020. And it's cool to see Fiona have that option in front of her and then for her to just decide to live the life that she actually chose and not the one that her parents chose for her. And I really like the story that the parents go through too. Like we get a good journey there where the dad and mom are kind of surprised that she's an ogre still and is married an ogre. And the mom is like, well, that's okay. And it's Julie Andrews. So of course she's like, that's okay. Cause she's, she can do no wrong. She's amazing. I also love seeing Donkey as a white steed. I think that's so fun. And again, like I felt in the first one, I felt so bad for him when he was returned to the donkey. I'm like, Donkey gets the short end of the stick every time until the end scene credit, which was ahead of its time. And he has all these donkey dragon children. I think it's so much fun. I absolutely love that. So fun. And like this one does feel more in tune to like the world around it at the time. Even galloping into Far Far Away, we have all these brands, but they're like uh, fairy tale brands, but it's Starbucks, Baskin Robbins, Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, Gap, Old Navy, Banana Republic, Burger King. I probably missed a few. A ton of brands and it's really somehow hilarious to see those there. I also love the Hollywood sign for Far Far Away. Far Far Away is the perfect kingdom for Fiona to be from. It's so great. You already kind of feel like you know exactly where you're at and you're like, oh yeah, no, it's like this famous, cause Cinderella's there, Sleeping Beauty's there. Everyone's there. I love it. I think the soundtrack is not as much of a hit as it was in the first. The first is just, I'm holding out for a hero till the end of the night. And he's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast. He's gotta be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. Actually, I'm the hero that we all need. It's me. Oh, wow. I did it. <laughs> Honestly, though, the end actually made me cry. Like, it actually made me tear up. It was so sweet. I love that Puss in Boots and Donkey by that time are friends. And they're both like, we can't cry. We cannot 
cry. I mean, again, it's really sweet that she chooses not to be beautiful and handsome. She chooses to be with the person that she loves when they're comfortable with each other. I think it would have been such a misstep for them to have chosen that, even though Shrek can get it. Also, Fiona can get it. They can both get it. Anyways, this one was shorter just because last week I had so many nostalgic points to make and so many things to like revisit and just like yell joyfully about. And this one, I really enjoyed it. I, I can't even tell you if I enjoyed it more or less. I think, and this is something that generally I do not understand the nostalgic factor. Like if you tell me that something I liked as a kid wasn't good, I'm like, yes, you're probably right. But, but I do kind of feel like the nostalgic factor for Shrek 1 just kind of has me feeling like it's better, or not better, because I know objectively that Shrek 2 is better. I know it is. It has a way better villain, it has way better conflict, it has better comedy, um, the, the CGI, the, the, the animation is better, but I do think I enjoy the first one just a little bit more just because I know exactly what's coming and that's so silly. You gotta open your brains to new things, people. Tamara, what are you doing? I really enjoyed this movie though. Had a blast revisiting it because as I have seen Shrek since Shrek 1 coming out, I have not seen Shrek 2 since Shrek 2 came out. Definitely have never revisited this one. That's why I don't remember it as well. I liked it a lot. I thought it was super fun. Definitely better than the first. And overall, just wish it had as kicking of a soundtrack as Shrek 1 did, honestly. I didn't sing nearly enough in this episode. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was fucking kind of. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what I should watch next week, whether it's Shrek 3 or. <laughs> I don't know. What should I watch? Let me know. I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't touch me. I'm rogue and I will punch your face and then steal your soul. Okay, bye! I am a hero. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed.